Hello everyone, welcome to Team Learning and today we are going to look into Microsoft Project Professional some of the uh, basic features of this uh, um, software and over here we have the data already available and we are going to process the same data and uh, look at uh, different features that are available to us. So as you can see that we have the list, uh, list of items already available over here but they are not organized. So the first thing that we are going to do is uh, we are going to identify um, what uh, items they are, they fall under any of those other items. So for example, we have uh, HR and it looks like all the items are related to HR anyway. But uh, when you uh, look at higher firm, there are three or four items over here uh, three items over here which uh, should fall under hiring a firm so what we are going to do is we are going to do the quick organization of these um, items and then uh, so let's do that first I'm going to highlight um, three items which should fall under hire firm so I'm going to highlight that and in my um, menu over here I'm going to go to task and uh, click on this right arrow and which will uh, make higher firm um, the owner of these three items similarly what I uh, what I identify is that um, these three tasks issue request for proposal paperwork sign documents they all fall under completing the documentation so i'm going to do the same thing with that and then i'm going to do the same thing with the meetings so now what i see is that all of these they actually fall under human resources so i'm going to place all of them under human resources so this is one of the um, basic features of um, organizing your items also i would recommend to um, change these um, the task mode into auto schedule because that really helps uh, when uh, with the scheduling process so that you don't have to do it manually so i'm going to do auto schedule and actually what you can do is you can highlight auto scheduling and then you can drag it until the end and then it will make all of them auto scheduled another thing that i want to show you over here that right now you have all these dates you have uh, because you already had duration now you have start and finish date for each task but you do not have the predecessors like predecessor is the dependency of one task on another which means that um, you cannot uh, perform two things in parallel because um, first uh, item has to be completed first before you move on uh, to the next one so what you are going to do is um, if you read all these um, work items listed over here you are going to realize that some of them cannot happen before the uh, first uh, the other one finishes for example uh, you are going to hire a firm because uh, before you complete any documents and uh, once you complete the documents then you have meetings you can have meetings about those documentation that you have uh, already worked on so there is no way that you can conduct the meeting first and then complete the documentation and then hire a firm so it has to be in a certain process so for example what we are going to do is that for um, if you look at this check reviews before hiring the organization discuss firm decision so you cannot discuss the decision unless you check the reviews and make a decision to hire the firm so you are going to um, put your cursor over here which is um, the item number four and uh, you can say uh, this is Microsoft Project 2019 by the way so you if you have a drop down uh, you can see um, all the items and you can do the checkbox otherwise um, if you are using a different version of project doesn't matter you can just type in the number so I'm going to select uh, number 
3 over here because that's the dependency and then um, and then you are going to see that the Gantt chart on the right hand side is changing it now it's uh, displaying the dependencies as well so um, similarly task number five over here finalize hiring hiring process is dependent on a discuss firm decision within the team because you cannot uh, finalize anything until you discuss with your team so that's what you are going to do and here is the dependency similarly issue request for proposal so you are going to uh, see if there is any dependency for the request of proposal uh, it it's totally uh, it totally depends on um, how um, HR is uh, operating in that firm so we can leave that one but for example we can take this one prepare paperwork and over here we see that the paperwork cannot be prepared until you have um, you know the decision from the team and finalize the hiring process so you can say that you know I have a dependency on finalizing the hiring process before the paperwork is done and similarly we cannot sign the documents until the documents are ready so we can say you know prepare paperwork similarly uh, for the meetings uh, you can identify the dependency meeting one meeting two meeting three maybe they do not have any dependencies they these meetings may be able to run in parallel so it, this is just an example so you got the idea that how that's working or we can you know or we can say that meeting two cannot happen before meeting one and then we just um, make it a dependency and then meeting three cannot happen before meeting two happens and then we make it a dependency another uh, great feature that we have is uh, so um, we have is um, WBS so a uh, work breakdown structure which is also called WBS um, this version gives you the option to select your WBS and what you can do is you can select WBS and it's on um, it's automatically going to give the numbers so um, what you can do is you can uh, click on this column and drag it to the front actually not only this version all Microsoft Office uh, versions they do have this option um, we can check uh, like it's they are a little bit different from each other based on version uh, for example when I showed you the predecessor um, I could uh, select from here in some other versions you have to enter the numbers so it's a it, there are some differences here and there but um, basically it's the same um, so now we have this WBS setup and uh, let's also look at the Gantt chart over here so if you look at the Gantt chart uh, we have um, these bars that show all the dependencies um, and uh, the timeline for each so um, that's a great way to um, process your information and um, it's more presentable in a way and you can easily see that this project is going to take 14 days based on all the dependencies and the work that is being done and um, the dependencies are listed over here and you have this WDBS um, item numbers and all this set up in a way that is more presentable to the management so let me know if you have any questions i think that's it for today and then we are going to explore more features in um, a 